Welcome back, y'all, royal family. Praises to the Most High, honor and glory unto His holy name. I wanted to bring your attention to um, the surrounding military installation that America has surrounding Iran. And you could say, well, Iran need to, you know, be seated and they will not make a move or they know better. Well, at the end of the day, the most high is in complete control. Don't let this actually picture map or, you know, strategically um, planned and put together by America showing where they located. Don't let this fool you, family, because the Almighty is in complete control, complete control. Iran is actually uh, the modern day of the Medes and also Persia. And what did Father do? Use King Cyrus to go up against King Nebuchadnezzar, which was the most powerful king at that time. Father gave King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon the power and the might that all other nations bow down to him. Then he sent the king Cyrus of the Medes to Persia to go up against him. And he was successful. Why? Because the almighty is in complete control. So no matter what Donald Trump and no matter what all of them are saying, what they're doing at the end of the day, family, you need not to fear. You need to put your trust in the most high. That's what we need to be. And if you're not there, your goal should be to get there. Like right now, starting like right now. So Iran, um, again, is centered surrounding all these different, you know, military installation. A drone, of course, came from somewhere. And of course, with the new technology for drones, you know, it's not like lined up where it has to be um, into a system like the airplanes, right? So um, it, it just, you know, in so many ways, unfortunately, this is like, you know, when someone look at it, that who could get one in on the next so we don't know how this is going to play out, but I'm going to trust in the most high that he will, you know, have all things in control, not for us to fear or worry about. Our faith and trust should definitely be in him, must definitely be in him. So I want to take your attention to, um, just a lot of things right now trending on social media, which is uh, Twitter. They actually received over a million, um, you know, tweets with this alone talking about this, uh, you know, actual right here. You see 1.47 million tweets. So that's pretty out there, right? So, um, a lot of people, you know, making comments and joking and, and, you know, making memes and all this and all that. And, and, you know, they don't know the seriousness of it because from a biblical standpoint, all the, um, all the pieces are moving right into place. And a lot of people are not, you know, biblically knowledgeable to understand what this means. But we as, you know, the almighty children and we have, um, confess and repent and, you know, keeping the commandments and believing and trusting, building this great relationship, right? You know, we need not to fear, but there's a lot of people, even in your own immediate family, perhaps don't have a clue to what this could mean. And this could be the start of where the almighty want to unveil and reveal even further. So, um, I just wanted to draw your attention towards that. And then, um, also, let's see here. I find this to be interesting because um, out of all the whole world, 
when it comes to the central banks, um, only three, three, uh, actual countries is not under that central bank, which is surrounding, um, the Rothschilds. And that is, uh, Cuba, North Korea, and Iran. And when you look up above that, remember Libya and Sudan. Now, I don't recall what happened in Sudan, but Libya, we do know of that. So these are the last three banks that they, um, I'm, I'm sorry, countries that, of course, this world want to control because they want to line up the Noah I laws and, and so forth. They want this one world power. See, they line it up just like the Bible says that the, that the Almighty going to have where the Israelites will reign under our King and then our Almighty. So it's like they're trying to beat, you know, beat us there first because they know what's to happen. The inevitable is going to happen. So when you read in the Bible and you say, oh, there's, there will be a one world order set up by these people. You know, we must understand that there will be one. Now what they're going to try beforehand, they're going to try, but these three countries, which you see there, Cuba, North Korea, and Iran is an issue. It's an issue. That means every other country, the 188 countries, all conform. But these three. Now, when it comes down to, you know, Israel's, the Israelis, uh, you know, all the Jewish people, what they want to do, this is what they want to form because they feel like this is going right into their path to be that world power. In actuality, they're so far from this truth because the most high is going to set up his kingdom, as he said, in the Israelites lights of, of Jacob will, will rule. So I wanted to point that out to you all as well in this regards. So let me see if anything else I want to point out to you all this morning. I think that's it, family. Um, I will come back on at a later time and talk about um, the lights that they call drones in the sky um, in Nebraska and um, I think it's Nevada or Colorado. Um, that they, you know, constantly talking about and one person already called it and say that the mothership, that one point that one of them say, oh, that's the mothership. Whenever you know a drone to be a mothership, what they're seeing is UFOs that are according to the Bible called chariots in the sky. So a lot is happening family. And this is a time, you know, talk to your family members, you know, allow you know the most high to lead you and guide you to what he wants you to do because we are in a time like never before we're in a time like never before and um we want to make sure that you know being led by the most high for our family members that they will wake up they will understand and know what's going on That they will confess, they will repent, and they will start keeping the commandments. All right, family, that's all I have for this time. Thank you again for listening. I pray you all have a great day. If I don't come back on before sundown today um, or after sundown today, I just want to say Shabbat Shalom, family. Take care.